Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's an NPC. I think we might have to go pay them a visit. Yikes. Oh, <laughs> rude. What's up? Hello and welcome. Welcome to me just uh, being a citizen again. <laughs> um, I spend way too much. Ooh, free stuff. Oh, a lot of free stuff. That's cool. No, I, no, I spend so much time, like, flying in the verse and just recording, I forget to, like, actually play the game sometimes. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do after I get this book out of my hands. Oh, my God. What just happened? Um, but, yeah, no, I... I want to play the game. What a good time to do it too, because I actually now have a new ship, which I'll show you here in just a second. Um, I guess it's not too much, not too crazy new. It's uh, it's just the the, the C1 Spirit. Um, I'm super stoked on it. I've been wanting a daily driver, and now I got one uh, with the new ship sale going on. I I didn't pledge for it. It's te technically a loaner. It's um actually a loaner for the, the Zeus C was it CL? Yeah, the Zeus CL that I that I did pledge for. Um, I do want. At the end of the day, like, I do want to get a the Zeus MR, like that bounty hunting ship, because, I mean, who doesn't want, like, a bounty hunting ship with, cute, with a quantum damper with, for you and your boys to fly around and cause chaos? Like, that'd be pretty sick. So looking forward to that. What's going on, boys? Good to see you. Oh, you guys are juiced. Silent but deadly cut kind of people, jeez. Okay, uh, yeah, anyways, no, I'm looking forward to getting the Zeus, but it's gonna, it's a good, t good ways away. Um... But, so Look, I could have bought the MR, but I didn't want a loaner for it, which is the A1. I was like, no, not about it. So for the time being, I just got myself a nice little, uh, a nice little C1, which I'm super chill about. Um, but yeah, no, I, I want an excuse to fly it, so I'm gonna go be a normal citizen. I'm gonna experience the verse um, as a normal. Wow, that's a lobby. I'm an idiot. Here, three. There we go. Just want to experience the verse as a as a citizen, like like, like the good old days, and also too. Um, it's a different kind of style of video, so I hope you guys like the more chill atmosphere. I personally like this kind of stuff, so if you like it, let me know. If you hate it, uh, I guess also let me know too. Um, people love to to throw hate in comments. That's like the YouTube. That's like the internet's favorite thing. So yeah, if you hate it, yeah, sure, why not? Leave a comment. It still helps me out. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I still, I'm still doing. I'm still doing my story stuff. Actually, um, that's not going anywhere. I'm still doing the story stuff. No, so I'm actually in love with the C1. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do, but I am a big fan. Um, I did get some things that I need to make it feel kind of like home. Actually, ignore my <laughs> many, many penguins. It's kind of an obsession of mine. Oh, there you are. Beautiful. That's one. I don't know why I got two, because I was feeling extra spicy, I guess. Two. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it almost killed me. Uh, I don't think I can... Can I not move this? Detach it. Oh, sweet, you can. For some reason I thought because I was in an armistice zone it wouldn't work, but there we go, that's sick. Um, best feature that I don't think a lot of people talk about is the fact that you can just type in how many items you want to split and boom, there it is. Everything sounds good, look good, perfect. Take this puppy out on her maiden voyage. Boy, oh! <laughs> <laughs> scraped, I scraped there. That was tight. That was way too tight. Oh, wow. Got a little sunrise going over at Seraphim right now. That's sick. Let's go over there and check that out, actually. I wanna go. Damn. That is gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Let's see if we can get a get a good screenshot. Ew. Why, do I, why does the ship look wrinkly? We're just gonna blame it on the textures, but that is that is beautiful. Big fan of this. So far, so good with the spirit. I mean, just looks alone, absolutely gorgeous ship. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, <laughs> the white and blue paint, but that's mostly my bad. There's so many other paints for this ship that I just don't have, mostly because it's one. It's a loner, so I'm not going to buy a paint for it. But I know there's options. I know I can fix my problem. But what are we going to do? Well, I want to keep my eye out for. Service beacons. Here we go. Okay, no, I'm not I'm like this. Not. I want like people. People. I want people with problems. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can rescue them from themselves, I guess. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting for people to ruin their lives, I'm gonna go over to Daymar. I'm gonna pick up a vehicle because what the hell? Oh, this way. I'm gonna go pick up a vehicle because I want. I want to see what can fit in the back of here. We're gonna do some testing. Like I said, I just want to play the game. I just want to actually enjoy it. 
Because don't get me wrong, I love I love making my little uh all my cinematic videos, but sometimes I just forget that I need to play the game. I just get so caught up on like, oh, I need to make sure this shot looks good. I make sure this is like good for recording. But uh, yeah, there's a game here that I need to play. Oh, that's so dope looking though. Oh, C1, you're so beautiful. Oh gosh, probably should have marked where I want to go. Really hope the mining facility isn't. Oh, it is! It is in the sun. I am really surprised. Usually, I got all the all sorts of bad luck. Usually, this this kind of stuff's in a. Uh, this is all like in the day. Like it's all nighttime. Every time I go to anywhere, it's nighttime. I'm gonna get another shot. That's what we're coming in. Just for, just for shiggles. Yeah, am I the only one that gets it's nighttime every time I try to play this game? No matter what I do, it's nighttime. It stresses me out. <laughs> Everything I do, it's nighttime. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's really pretty coming in. Cool. Yeah, I'm not really quite sure what can fit in the back of this thing. I've done little to no research on this ship, mostly because um, I have no intention of like pledging for one. So I was like, oh, but then I forgot that, you know, I could get one for the time being and now I'm like all interested in it as soon as I can like actually have it in my fleet for a little bit, which I think is super rad. So I don't know, maybe maybe she'll grow on me. Maybe I'll end up hating the Zeus's, but honestly, I don't know much about this ship other than it's kind of like a daily driver and that's what I'm looking for. Um, if you're a fan of this channel, you've been watching for a little bit, you know that I'm a stan for the Drake Corsair and don't get, I still love her. Um, she's got flaws, but I mainly am going in for the rule of cool, <laughs> and she's the coolest ship in the verse. You know, I'll die on that hill. But, um, oh, there's a lot of people here. And also, too, I'm just excited to switch it up and get a new thing just to kind of drive every day. There's a lot going on here. Hornet, Fury, another Fury. Oh, that Fury's had a bad day. I, what in the, oh, whoa. What is all this? I'm crashing. Oh, that's so sick. Is somebody getting like a little, someone getting a rally set up? Oh, that's rad. I can't see anything. It's, of course it's like dusty. So I don't know if any players are nearby, but yeah, this is bad. I might, I might just need to land and uh, go for it. Uh, I see like a tank. Yeah, there's a tank here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's weird. Wait, is there somebody in the tank? Is the tank moving? That noise is not me. I don't know what. <laughs> it sounds. It's, it sounds like the tank is quantum traveling. That's funny. Okay, we'll get out of here. Let's go check. Let's go see what's uh what's going on outside with all those rally trucks. Is that a known bug? That's frustrating. That is super annoying. If that's a bug. It's the constant sound of quantum. It's okay. You guys are lucky because by the power of editing, you probably won't even won't even hear this. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, it looks like people were getting set up for a rally. I know the Damar rally was going on today. Maybe I accidentally got put into their server. Wouldn't that be cool? But I think it's it's already long. Hello? Okay, there you go. Yeah, I know the rally's probably long gone, but uh, I guess we can go give these guys go check this out. That tank is, can I, I'm gonna turn this tank off. I can't hear myself think. Yeah, private property, I know. Let me I'm just, I'm here to just turn it off. It's off, it's still loud as hell. Whatever, I tried, <laughs> I tried. Is it this making the noise? No, it's one of these. Unless they've got like, is it you? Okay, yeah, okay. I think it's, yeah, it's the Ursa making all that noise, whatever. Wow, beautiful day on Daymar. Oh, it's gone. 
So what do we got here? We got... Are these the... You're talking about the tumbrel, not the Nova. The Nova's the tank. That's cool. They all got like little different colors and stuff. I know this is the subscriber vehicle for the month, so that's pretty neat. Maybe I can... Maybe I'll grab one of those. Maybe that'll fit into the... Uh, to the C1. And give that a shot. Oh, these look beefy. This looks so cool. I should... Oh, and there's the noise again. I should do like a little Daymar rally with the with the with the server with the Discord server. That'd be kind of fun. Do a little race, a little race around the verse. An unofficial one, of course, but that could be a lot of fun. Oh wait, I can't get in it. Let's turn this bad boy off. Think. I don't know who did this. Yeah, private property. I know. Yes, you might have left all your vehicles on, but at least you left the doors open so people can steal them. Or use them? What is that? Okay, well, I give up immediately. Let's just get, let's just go get my, let's just go get my things, go get my stuff settled, and then we'll just ignore these guys. No. Nope. Bunch of water. Interesting. I can get, no, I don't need, I don't need more. Ah, oh, damn it. Hold on. Anything fun in here? Nah. I don't need any of that. Uh, Grey Cat? I do want the STV. Yeah, this is what I I know will fit in the back of the C1. But let's go ahead. Let's go for extra credit. Um, oh, destroyed. What did I do? We'll claim for, I guess we'll claim this too. <laughs> Oopsies. But no, this is... Star Citizen's so cool. Like... I mean, obviously, I don't know how long these vehicles have been here, but they they could have been they could could have been here for weeks. Granted, it's kind of why the servers are so slow sometimes. But you know, the fact that those vehicles are still there from weeks ago, and like that's my ship, like that that is my ship. Like I, that, that's a really hard feeling to explain, and maybe somebody in the comments can you know explain their feelings better than I can. But there's something about owning a ship, like. Buying it with AUEC is one thing, but having a pledge vehicle and like seeing it and being able to get into it makes it feel like it's yours and it makes it feel like way more at home, I guess. It's a bit expedited fee, but I think it's cool to. Oh, here we go. Oh, shoot! <laughs> it's an NPC. I think we might have to go pay them a visit. Yikes! Oh, <laughs> rude! Yeah, I might have to go pay them a visit once uh, once we wrapped it up here. Let's grab this, this Cyclone. Yeah, 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 okay. Because that's a subscriber vehicle for the month. I like to try it out. Last month it was a Scorpius, and I didn't even bother to I didn't even bother to use it. It was kind of funny. <laughs> I, think I, I think I took it out once, and I was just like, oh, oh, I forgot the zero gravity. And that was that was about it. That was the extent of my. Uh, Scorpius knowledge. I'm not a big fan of the the heavy, medium, light, I'm just fighters in general. I'm not. I'm not a dog fighter, so I usually don't go that route. I mean, my videos. I'm a. <laughs> I'm a. I'm a videographer. I'm an editor. I'm not a fighter. Hello. Am I missing something? Vroom vroom. Okay. There we go. Okay. How far away is that guy? Only a, oh man. Wait, where is he? Uh, okay, yeah, he's only 1600 meters away. That's not too bad. I was thinking maybe he flew like super far away. Okay, let's see if this bad boy can fit. I don't see why it wouldn't be able to fit. If I can get past the airlock or the, no, somebody's gonna correct me. This because I know it's not an airlock. It's something else. This is being so sassy. If you look for the lights, there they are. Okay. Beautiful day on Daymar. I've said it again. I'll. S I'm gonna say it a lot before it. <laughs> Until the sun goes down, I'm gonna be saying it a lot more. Okay. What the? Okay. I, I ran into this bug when I was driving this last time. Oh, this will fit. No problem at all. Oh, maybe a problem. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no way! Oh, that's cool. That fits perfect in here. Turn it off. So sick. Okay. 
think the C1's growing on me a little bit. That's so cool. That's a that's a big vehicle. I mean, obviously, you can, there's probably you can get the anti-air version in here. You can get the one with the turret on the top. Yeah, there, we got options. And I still got room for activities. That's so cool. Okay, I'll take it. You got any C1 owners out there? Anybody uh, happy to see me behind in the pilot seat of one of these? Or are you guys just so anti medium like freight ships that you're like I don't care just give me my Perseus because <laughs> I definitely know those people I am one of those people I just want my galaxy okay let's go check out let's go check out what that cutlass black was up to is he still over here yes he is what he's got going on over here oh oh shoot okay are these gimbal what's going on here Are the top ones not gimbaled? Do I gotta, oh, oh no they're not. I gotta like, are they gimbaled? I don't know, dude. Just goes to show you I know nothing about this ship. So they're not gimbaled, okay. No, I'm taking you out. You shot at me at a mining facility, you punk. Get back here. He's not gonna go down, is he? His gate's wide open. Are these cutlasses still invincible? No way are they still invincible. Oh, shoot, my shields are down. Oopsies, okay, I'm disengaging. That guy should have been dead a long time ago. I'm just gonna assume that he's invincible. <laughs> that was a close one. Well, at least I'm right next to a repair station, but I do wanna see, I do wanna go find out where he just parked and dropped off his boys. The least I could do is leave no witnesses, you know? Okay, there's about 1,600 meters. There they are, they're right there. Punk? Yeah, that's been a bug for a while, right? The invincible cutties, that is so frustrating. Especially because they are the main bad guy of the verse right now, like when it comes to ships. Thankfully, they're not really present in too many bounties. Oh, there's a couple guys over there. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna take care of them originally. Good, goodly English. Wow. And then I'll get some, go get some repairs. But uh, yeah, going back to a little bit about why I'm doing what I'm doing, kind of taking a, not a break, but just like posting another video that's not cinematic. Hello. Um. I want to play the game, but also like my favorite part when I started playing this game was the organic stories. And that's kind of what got me into telling stories. Is just like going out to do something and something complete. Yeah, you have an idea to do one thing, and then something completely different happens. And I think that is that is the reason what what drew me to Star Citizen is because that you can only get that in this game. Like, oh, there's a guy up there too. Did I bring a sniper? I did bring a rifle. I did bring a rifle. Let me. And grab that rifle real quick but no like, like you're, now like oh i'm gonna go get a vehicle and then i'm like well now i get shot at now i want revenge because that's just rude and i think that's such a fun like little thing you could do man this server must be struggle busting right now i just gotta grab that there we go just put that 71 on my back oh god what come on i know there's supposed to be like a 322.0.0a or whatever patch um, it's supposed to like help with some stuff oh there's cargo here oh what a trip um, that needs to happen like yesterday Let's get this guy real quick there you go five shots to the back of the head that's impressive storage we can actually take this with us there's nothing in here maybe maybe nothing dang interesting okay before we go attack the rest of them, let me make sure. Make sure I got my call to arms. But yeah, no, the organic storytelling. Dude, sorry, I'm also hardcore ADHD. That's why usually I have scripts when I make my videos. But, um, no, I love. There's a guy over there. Love the organic storytelling of like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Actually, no, this is completely different now because now I'm getting sidetracked. Or like, I might die here and then it might just turn into this big thing. I actually don't even know where my spawn is set to, so that'll be... How about we don't die? Let's just not... Let's just not die. Let's not find out where my spawn is set to. 
Because I'm going to take care of these. Oh, they're cool. Let's oh. Okay. Somebody's close. Where the hell's they gone? Got him. Right here. <laughs> Ask him where I went. I'm right here, buddy. I'm just going to loot this guy really quick. I have a medical gun on me, but I don't have a medical pen. But these guys do, so thank you. Thank you for your service. Appreciate you. Where'd that last guy go? What is... Oh, there he is. Okay. Flawless. Flawless cowboy. I felt good. Oh. Next time, I'm next time I'm going for the nut shot. I'm going for extra credit. There he is. Oh man. Usually the <laughs> usually I'm such I'm gonna empty this mag real quick. Usually they act all goofy if I shoot them in their private bits, but not today, I guess. Well sweet, we got ourselves a a free camp. Let me just put my flag down and call this place home. Oh, there's armor back here. Is this armor? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hold on. Okay. No. You can't do this to me, game. You can't thank you. So you can't tease me. You can't show me a clothing drawer. Not expecting me to at least try to get in there. Okay, we got nice pristine metals. Some more water. I got plenty of water, so I don't want to like just bog myself down. I got a damaged one too. Cool. Okay. Got some treasure. Can't do. I don't think you can do anything with these actually. I think this is literally just for set dressing, which is fine. Um, can make my make my ship slowly feel like home. It's like. The, also why I love my Corsair so much is I can just fill it with crap. And I can just, you say the excuse of, oh, I'm making it feel like home. Let's see here. Oop. There's just one. There's another crate there, right? Yeah. The crate there, it looks like. Wait, is that a present? Oh. <laughs> it's a Luminalia present. Definitely grabbing that. That's cool. Okay, and then we'll check those other bunkers here in a second. But how did you guys get in the game? Like, what made you fall in love with the game originally? Because I was, I was there for some buggy free flies, and the only thing that kept me playing was the unknown of being like, oh, try again. Uh, oh, nice some rocks. I can probably sell those later. Because I do love Souls likes. So nice. I like I like the games that are difficult on purpose and they punish you. Like I've been slowly getting into Tarkov. Um, another Star Citizen streamer, Party Squid's been running me through that. So actually, if you into PvP or anything like that, go check him out. But yeah, he's been running me through a couple raids on Tarkov. We're having a good time with it. Definitely a game that I have to play with a group or a couple friends because I think going alone would give me an anxiety attack. But I do love the high risk, high reward kind of kind of gameplay. I'm just a sucker for punishment. Um, but when you, when you master those games, same thing with this. Like when you master, like you can fail, but you know why you failed. And I like that you can get better at it. Obviously, this game's buggy. Uh, and you can just die for no reason and that's not cool but you know in the game when the, the gameplay feels legit right and you die and you're like oh i know why i died because i was being an idiot or like you're in a tactical situation and you know why you died like that's that's cool and you can, you can get better and i like games that you can see yourself getting better at because when i first started this game i was i was trash dude i was so bad uh but being able to learn the game more and just do little things like this just going out and just chilling makes me so happy being able to make the game your own. It's cool stuff. But I like learning things. I think a game with... Somebody put it really good. I think it was in another YouTube video, but it's like, because the way that they're designing this game, especially with like all the new... Ma oh, please don't break my ship. All the new master modes and stuff coming up. They don't want to make Star Citizen... They want to make it easy to learn, but keep the skill, like, the skill ceiling extremely high. Like, it basically, you can get... You, you can never be the best. You can always get better. And I think that's cool, how they start, start to implement tools like that to make the game seem more fair and actually have it be challenging. I appreciate that kind of gameplay logic. Hello? How do we get in here? I think we can get it through here, right? Anything else? What's this? Knickknacks. Come on, baby. Give me some knickknacks. What is that noise? Is power here? <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> that is a problem. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I don't see any loot in here. That's a bummer. Well, we got the war medals and we got the Christmas present. I don't know what the hell we're in. 
I hope that somebody is not going to look for that pre Christmas present, because I think that's still a mission. But it's mine now. Alright, can I snag this? Hello. There we go. I didn't want to walk all the way over there. I'm <laughs> too lazy. I know this game's all about... I'm trying not to, to do like... Ooh. Ow! <laughs> okay, I saw that coming. No way! Wait, no, I'm just... Okay, I'm just KO'd. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I thought I actually killed myself there for a second. And there's nothing even in there. Bugged out my inventory. Maybe there's so much stuff in here, my inventory bugged out. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna assume there's nothing. I don't want to bring these guys onto my ship because I already got my other two containers, but I'll take this as a dub. Uh, I didn't blow up. I do have to go get fixed because that, that cutty did mess me up. Sadly. It's pretty kind of frustrating. I think you have to shoot the cutties from the front, but you know, in a situation like that where he's running away and I could really only want to shoot him from the back. But it is what it is. Cute little present, that's cool. Um, what did I want to do? Okay, let's go let's go repair. Daymar's gone. Or Crusader's gone. That's cool. Wait, why did I do that? I'm landing right now. I do have to say shout out to the people on this server that didn't just Aban like they abandoned their ground vehicles, that's one thing, but they didn't abandon their vehicles. Oh wait, maybe I spoke too soon. We'll see if I can repair here. Because if there's a, a, almost any bit of a vehicle on these pads, you can't do anything, which is... There we go, thank god, I got lucky. Some, some nights I'll just go around trying to repair myself all day. I was like, that's just what I do. While I'm repairing, I could probably take a look and see... I'm actually kind of down to go do. Hey, this one's close. I can fully, I can fully test out this. Um, let's go. T let's go test out this C1. Let's go see what it can do. It's just a low threat, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be hard at all. As long as there's no cutlass blacks. So let's get out of. Let's get out of Daymar and wait for that mission to pop up. So you gotta make sure landing gear's up. Gorgeous. This ship is sick. Oh, there we go. Okay. Go see this guy's butt. Roscoe Drapper. Draper? Drapper. Drape Draper. Roscoe Draper. Let's go see what he's up to. We kind of out in the black, so hopefully the server is not going to be too sassy. What is the FPS right now? Not terrible, not good, but not terrible. Let's see what Ross goes up to. I can get a shot of inside the cockpit real quick. Yeah, I'll cover you. Let me get a good angle. Hold on. Oh, man. That, this is not usually... Okay, let's see what we got here. Just one baddie? So he's in a freelancer. Okay. And you are in a... Oh, buddy. This is, this is almost not fair. I'm here. Almost there. Almost there. Is this guy bugging out already? We just I just got here. I'm hoping these guys aren't invincible. He's dead. Stop complaining, dude. Oh. I thought I was a goner. Yeah, you're fine. Thanks. No, I do want to test something out. <laughs> this is gonna sound kind of morbid, but we're we're gonna go fishing. Okay, we're gonna go we're gonna go fishing. 
I think one of the cool things about this ship is the fact that it has a tractor beam on it and i've only seen it in videos and i'm gonna see if we can go fishing for uh some armor <laughs> so i hope i open the back door let's see if we can see if we can use that tractor beam on the tail end here and pull the corpse of that pilot in here oh here we go um okay uh nope we have power on okay okay Oh, uh, deploy, enter. Okay, here we go. Yeah, can I get a third person angle? Yeah, it's like this, the tractor beam is just this little th little doodad right there. All hanging on the back of the ship. Can I click and do anything? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we'll get back in the remote turret, see if we can't find anything. Okay, what do we got here? Um... Big ship, don't need that. Big part of a ship, I don't need that. Oh, get out of here. Pilot might still be in there. Can I rotate it? Is it shift? How do I... I could have swore... Is it alt? I'm being very careful, because I know sometimes... Like, alt F... You know, alt F4 is not too far, far away. Um... Nothing out there. Dang it. Might have to go, might have to go for a walk. The body might still be in there, yeah. Bummer. Well, cool idea. Let's go see if I can go find him anyway. Don't make, come on, there you go, thank you, server. Okay, let's see here. Whoop, out into the black. What we got here? Hello? Anybody home? Is he still in the seat? No, pilot is not in the seat. Ow, that's bright. Um, sorry for making you sick. I did see, okay, from the tail end of my ship, there was. That's over here. No, that's a planet. <laughs> I was like, that looks like wreckage. No, it's a planet. Oh, there's wreckage out there. Oh, and I think I think I see him. I think I see your target. There he is. Well, it could be a piece of a ship. We're about to find out. What is this? That looks like a person. They're a little bit broken. I think they're like bugged in. Yeah, they're definitely a little busted. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Well, at least he's dying in a fun way. Good for him. Good for him. Can only hope my adventure doesn't end up with me looking like a fool. <clears throat> what am I doing here? I got, I got, I got, I got the technology to be Spider-Man. There we go. Pull myself back in. Whoop! Nice and easy. All right, so let's see what else. Let's see what other trouble we can get into. I got bright really fast. Let's go ahead and just make sure my gate's closed. For some reason, I own a interstellar spacecraft, but I left my key fob at home. And I don't have a mobile app, so I got to do everything by hand. It's a bit unfortunate. But we'll we learn to live with it. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go clear a criminal nest. Sweet. It's gonna be a bad idea to jump this. Oh, the crusader in the back. That's a good idea. That was a good idea. That's cool. That's fun. Dang, this thing whips, dude. <laughs> Dang, this thing's quick. Uh, am I even on target? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assume I lost my marker. That's not good. I know they're in a crater, um, so that doesn't really help me too much. 
Um, I'm gonna guess this way. Wait for this one. I might have a problem here. At least I, can, I can still see my ship. Let's see. Okay, we were, we were three kilometers away. Okay, that's what I'll do. I know we're three kilometers away from the base. We're about 1.5 kilometers away from my ship. So we're about halfway there. Oh, boards. oh there we go. Okay, now I got a mark for the turret. Sweet. See? Captain sends direction coming in clutch. Oh, sheesh. There we go. <laughs> Ugh. At least this can survive a beating, dude. I, I want hover bikes and, like, Dex 1 and stuff to, to functionally work. Uh, like, be able to hit the f gas and just go, but... I die so fast, but at least these can take a beating or two before they... Like, oh! Yeah, look at that. Right back on it. It's like a cat. Always lands on its feet. Oh, sheesh. Oh, sheesh. Hold it together. Hold it together, Cozy. There we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, sheesh. Oh, sheesh. Oh, thank God. Man, this tumbrel just built different. I'm not breaking a sweat. I don't know why I'm... You guys thought I was stressing? That was easy. Oh, sheesh. I'm just cruising. Dang. Okay, here we go. Uh, where's the front of this? There we go. This is the front. Now, let's hope nobody shows up to steal this. I don't think they... I don't see why they would. Can't really take the keys with me again. What a silly idea that would be. Alrighty, let's go inside. Run the entrance crap. I'm gonna mess this up, aren't I? Nope, nailed it. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Well, this is new. Might be a player down here. What's my make sure my key bindings are all good to go. Let's do mic in. Key bindings advanced. We'll do um this one. Delete. This one. I don't think that elevator's coming up. This is new. Crap, does that mean the loan? Server's still kicking. Maybe somebody got trapped down there. Maybe somebody's down there forever. Oh, almost failed right at the very end. <laughs> but I was thinking to myself, I don't, I was thinking to myself while we were driving, I don't think I've ever had like a mission breaking bug like that back there. So kind of bummed out that, you know, it, it happened now, but I was a, usually I'm able to get into most bunkers. Like every time I do something for a video or, you know, I'm just like chilling, trying to get like thumbnails or something. Uh, usually that works. Maybe it's just the server's bad. I don't know. Bum, that's really bummy though. That makes me sad. I'm gonna go find a caterpillar or something that actually works, but. Oh well, we are playing an alpha and those things are to be expected, so I can't get too mad at it. I'm mad at myself for trusting the game. But it's okay, I'm glad that I did did it this way. With the vehicle instead of me running in two kilometers, that would have sucked. If I ran all that way and then there's no mission to be done. That would have been hard whoa. Oh ch oh chilled Bessie. I run, did I run over? Oh, I was probably too close to that. Okay, let's get back in the back in the saddle and maybe I'll find something. Like that. I don't care too much about reputation at the moment. I got plenty of it to go around so I can not complete one mission and not totally be in the doghouse.
Here. Let's go fly towards Crusader. I want to see if I can get it cool. Where are they? This way. Crusader was this way. I'm going to hit cruise control while I find a new mission. Let's see. Um. Service beacons out there. Nothing fun. Oh, shush it. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Here we go, Caterpillar. Those are always busy. Just abandon that one. I gotta hop over to Yella? Dang it. Well, at least I know these Caterpillar missions work. There's no elevators to get down to, to, get down to Caterpillars, which is good. Oh, that's cool looking. What a beaut. What a beaut. I'm actually really surprised by how fast this uh, C1 Spirit is. I know I asked in chat a couple days ago when I first got it. I was like, well, what, what do I what do I need for this ship? Like, Quantum Drive? Because normally the first thing I do is I buy a new Quantum Drive for any new ship I get because everything else is... Usually the stock drive is crap. So I was pleasantly surprised. People were like, yeah, you really don't need to. This is the second fastest drive you can get. I mean, I can upgrade to the XL1, but I'd rather just save the hundred grand. And I mean, this, this is plenty fast. And I don't know if this is everybody else's like first experience with the game, but I remember when I first got this game, uh, I was in like, I was in my not my roar. Where is the other one? Uh, the Avenger Titan. I was in the Titan, and I just remember uh, doing nothing, but like I might. Quantum drives would take so much, quantum jumps would take so long, I would actually go out and I would do chores. I'd like go do the dishes or like take the dog on a walk. Like it'll be like, you know, eight to 10 minute quantum jump sometimes. So it's kind of funny that you're able to do that with this game. Like, yeah, I know it's called it a loading screen, whatever, but I think it's great. I think that's absolutely fantastic that I can, there's a game out there that I can take, quote unquote, play, but it's, I'm really just like, you know, still being productive and doing chores, which I think is great. I'm just taking screenshots. This is really pretty. Who knows? Maybe this will be in the thumbnail. The white on white's a little bit... That's a little bit rough. Maybe I'll figure something out. But here we go. That was a cool shot. Oh, yeah. I'll careen into the ground. All right. Well, let's hope we don't get... Hopefully we pull up we don't get, the, get jumped by... Another ship coming in, that would suck. Well, let's see, we got a... It's too bright. Pisces Exploration. There's a lot of Pisces out today. Is there like a new... Is there like a new player like promo going on right now? There's a lot of Pisces going on. Okay, let's see. I'm seeing baddies, that's a good sign. That is a very good. So that Pisces has seen better days. Things wrecked. Oh, nice. People already marked for me. That's gonna make my life so much easier. And there's a crate there. Okay. We got options. I will grab my rifle for this. Boom. I think I got more ammo in a crate. So let's grab that before we go, cause. I think it's like five shots per kill. It's kind of brutal. Um, there we go. Cool. All right. <clears throat> now, as long as no reinforcements show up, we should be a-okay. There's boxes everywhere. Somebody had a very bad day. Let's go check this out real quick before we get shot. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, no. Don't carry it. Oops. I was not expecting that option. Let's see nothing okay bummer the crate right there we'll do that and then we'll start eliminating some people we'll go loud yeah. beautiful ship stunning ship <laughs> the, the red rifle does not work for this la whole layout that's funny I'm here for it though <clears throat> Nothing, man. How long has this been here? The place has been picked clean. All right, 
Let's take care of this guy real quick. I think he was dead at the third shot, but you know, the fourth shot wouldn't hurt. Should I try to go with the coda? I mean, I got the coda with a silencer. I don't know why I'm not. Ooh, nope. Okay, that's way too far. Again, I have the coda for the rule of cool because it looks freaking sick. Why am I shooting at? Not him. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. Very easy. You can kind of see this guy. Oh, I can actually hit him. He is not taking any. He is getting tickled right now. Oh, is there seriously one more? You're kidding me. But hey, what did I say about being able to actually complete a mission? That's nice. Big fan of being able to actually complete something. It makes me feel mostly productive. Not a complete waste of my time. I'm excited. I know I was watching the Super Mac Brothers video about... Uh, Come with some of the news, just like. Oh, hold on. Let's talk in a second. Oh, gotta reload. Come on, peekaboo. There we go. Okay. Anyway, the Super Mac Brothers video about uh, just like the I think it just it was just the updates what they've been working on since for like December and January. Which was cool. I was happy to hear that they were working on a lot of AI stuff. But I found it fascinating that the issues with like AI, like kind of what you're seeing now, them like not responding, a lot of it, I mean, part of it is server stuff, which is to be expected, right? But I found it fascinating that they're actually working on like how AI interact with the models that they have, like the gun models and stuff. So like, I think there's something fundamentally wrong with the way the guns work. Like obviously, like I'm you know picking up guns and dropping them, so maybe there's something weird with like the models and the behavior that they need to fix. And then the AI will know how to use the tools because I think the AI is fine. It's just they don't know how to use the tools in their hands. So, but I think the tool is the problem, not necessarily AI. I don't know. I'm not. I'm also just talking on my butt. I'm not a game designer, and I just watched a video of somebody talking news at me. So that's kind of where my knowledge stops. But. Still, I thought it was a fascinating point. Like, oh, you know, better server performance is going to be the end-all be-all for this game. It'll help a lot, but not going to be the thing that saves saves the game, I guess. Okay, here we go. Is this open? Yeah, this one's already been been through here. Damn. How do they? How do people get here so fast? I feel like it's so such a such a bummer. I feel like people just live on these outposts and steal all my stuff. See if I can. Oh god. Okay, I ignited that. That was my bad. I'm gonna put this right. Put this right there. Maybe there's still something up here. Maybe they forgot something. Probably not though. These guys seem lethal. Oh well. Okay. Well, th that's just this part of the wreck. There's more wrecks. I definitely want to keep looking for something fun. This is where I find all my paladin helmets. I don't know what it is, but the last few weeks I haven't been able to find any paladin helmets, which is kind of. Wor I'm very lucky that I haven't died and lost my machinima helmets. Oh, that guy's dead. I bet you that's the Pisces owner. That's funny. <laughs> Just a man there. Yikes. Uh, let's see what do we got in here. Big fat nothing sandwich. It's fine. We can still parkour. Ooh. Of course. It's our mortal enemy. Um, I actually might need to leave because I don't know how much of my ship can take that. Quick little scan. And of course, I freaking parked my butt away from me. So now I have to... Yikes, I hope I can take that. Are they leaving? No, he's just... Oh, he's just taking pop shots at me. Oh, shoot. Is he through my shields already? This isn't good. Of course, the heavy armor slowing me down. I'll put your crap away. Come on. Oh. Nothing's red yet, so that's good. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not on fire. Oh, 
rear shields are down, interestingly enough. God, I need to get better at this whole hard point thing. Can I please take him out, please? That'd be so nice. I know she ain't a dogfighter, but dang, dude, what can you kill with this thing? There we go. Oof. Spicy. 2,000 AUVC. There's a lot of boys on there. Cool. All right. Well, I'm not dead, so that's a plus. You know, any mission I can leave with my life, I'll take it. What did I say, though, about leaving here, like getting jumped by a ship? That's literally what happened. Literally what just happened. Dang, this is like sneaky stuff right here. But they are sneaky. I say sneaky stuff with the, the camo. White ship on yellow would be broken. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see what else we can do. I was hoping there'd be some medical contracts. Nobody's nobody's getting hurt. I'm impressed. Actually, you know what? I haven't really explored Hurston a bunch with those all those new outposts and stuff over there. I've only seen a couple of them in person, but there's plenty more that I've been wanting to check out. So maybe let's go, let's go check that out. Let's go over to Hurston and see, uh, see if maybe I can find a home over there. Let's make this place feel like home. Uh, we got a pristine war medal. I've actually never seen a pristine one. What does my little treasure look like? Oops, that's... Yeah, hold on. Inspect. Okay. Neat. That's going to go right on that, right there. People are going to be so jealous when they walk in and they try to get a hot coffee and then they just see my war medal. <laughs> it's not stolen valor, it's a collector's item, so I'm not pretending to be a war hero. Oh, bathroom here? Okay, okay, okay. Pretty slick. What can I put in the bathroom? How about a glow? Did I get a glow stick? I did. Oh, cyan or pink? Let's go chill. I think a bathroom needs to be chill. There we go. Uh, activate. Nice. Okay. This is, now we're really setting a vibe. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. Very cool. Turn the lights off. Oh, oh, can we turn the lights off in here? Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. What are you doing? You put that back. What are you doing? Oh, is it on me now? Struggle busting over here. It's, it's hard to set a vibe. There we go. Nice. Cool. People are going to be very surprised. Oh, hey, we're here. Oh, God. <laughs> I really should have seen that coming. That looks neat. That looks very neat. Oh, cruise control is on. Uh, so we are careening towards a planet right now. Can I put this away? I can. Okay, that's super cool. Nice. Perfect. Turn off cruise control so we don't just die. You know, little things. Let's see here. Um, we got some bounty hunters to evict illegal occupants from a cave. I have not done a cave one in a long time. I'm gonna grab this, and then we'll see. Cave on Hurston too. I haven't done a Hurston cave in a hot. Okay, my luck has just about ran out. We are going back to the dark side of the planet. But this is good, though. There is, there is usually loot inside of these caves. So whether the people spawn or not, I really don't care. I want the loot. I'm a little loot goblin. OK, 
can I say? I'm a little goblin. A little loot goblin. Uh, it's, on, it's pitch black. Gosh dang it. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, interesting. Usually the markers disappear. Wait, is it right by Lorville? What? Wait, what? Since when is there a cave right next to Lorville? That's cool. Okay, we're, we are learning something new about Lorville today. There's a literal criminal underworld right next to the biggest city on the planet. That's very interesting. Where's that light coming from? Looks so cool. Yeah, let's see if we can get a good angle with the clock. Yeah, okay. The station up there? Alright, let's just circle with stars. Hit the gas and get there quicker. I did not expect this. I'm running uh, out, running low on hydrogen. I'm used to the giant tank of the Corsair where I'd never even, see, I barely see like a pixel missing by the time I need to go back and refill my weapons. Usually it's still a full tank, but we've been cruised around for, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes now. And, uh, it's very interesting to see I'm actually losing fuel, so fuel might be a thing for these long trips if I end up uh, being out for longer than I expect. Let's see here. Okay. That's where it gets a little bit, a little bit dicey in here. Okay, that will help. There's vehicles there. The Avenger Titan. something else which I should still be careful because that could mean a lot of things that could mean there's players there like in the cave no, no that thing's wrecked that is, there's no way anybody's in there but where is the cave well, that's not good If I was a cave, dude, this is pitch black. Oh, wait, what is this? Right there. <laughs> Literally, I'm right over the top of it. I'm a big idiot. Okay, well, it is very dark here and my settings are not meant for, my, they're, not, they're not set to pitch blackness right now. Why is there two of them? That's so creepy. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, hold on a minute. That was a rookie maneuver. Um, we need to turn off our engines. I get back in my pilot seat. You gotta turn off our engines before we even think about going to that cave. Okay. There we go. Now, we're, now we can make sure that our ship's not gonna fly away like that Avenger Titan. Do not want that. Okay, war metal safe. Uh, glow stick is safe. Plenty of rounds on my custodian. I think we, uh, this is gonna be a solid, a solid mission. What is that? Oh, that's the Titan. We'll check out that Titan. If we survive out of here, I'll reward myself with a little trip into that Titan. Um, in the meantime, though, where the hell? This is so dark. Maybe I should have brought a glow stick so I can see something. Hold on a minute. There we go. I mean, kinda I can see better. Not really. Okay, I do have to be careful with the parkour in here because her there is hursting gravity, so that's gonna stink. Okay. Um, well, that sounds ominous in there. Not a fan peek around here. Usually there's, there might be a couple crates out here if you get lucky. Let's see anything this time. I'm glad they got the lights up, because I don't. 
Usually there's at least somebody here. Well, even if they're not here, I still want the loot, so. Turn my light off, make sure. I don't see anybody here. Okay. We might be safe. Might with a capital M. Man, is there gonna be any loot that spawns in here either? What is this? Can I? Oh, this is, I've never seen these containers before. That's cool. Okay, there's no. Check over here. Because where that might maybe that was a lighting glitch. Because where I saw a flashlight or two. Oh, that's not a loot box. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper into the cave. Um, wait, what the hell? That's from a person. There might be a body in here. There definitely no bad guys, which is kind of a bummer. Hmm. That is fine, I will get over it. If I can get out of here with a helmet, that is a job well done. That is a successful day. And it's fine too, we gotta wait for the, gotta wait for the sun to come up. For the, for uh, those other places that I wanna go to. Where the hell do I go? Yeah, if you've never been in these caves, uh, they are very easy to get lost in. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. And they're slippery. Did I break anything? No, I'm good. One foot. Where's my other foot? All right. I'm just going to assume I still got two feet. <laughs> Wait. Medical rescue. Accept. Oh, I want this. Contract accepted. Okay, sick. Where is he? Wait, 700 meters? He might be in this... He might be in here. No way. Dude, if he's in here... Uh, accepted. Track. Oh, wait. Kilometers. 700 kilometers. He's close, though. Okay. Kind of a jerk move of me thinking it was 700 meters, not 700 kilometers. Oops. Big oopsies. Uh, let's see. I do have to be careful. Um, let's see. Couple red flags here. Oh, complete. Oh. Okay, he's... Okay. <laughs> He must, have, he must have had a friend with him. Okay, that's... I got, wait, 809! Oh, I got, didn't get paid at all. Rate it? I'll give him a good rating. Hopefully he leaves me a good rating. Um. Anyways, I was going to say I had to be careful because I didn't see him talking in chat. And usually that means people are baiting you. Like, they'll set up a medical beacon and then as, you, as soon as you get close, they... Like their friends will jump you and murder you. <laughs> so that's what I was mostly worried about back there. I was like, oh, I don't see him talking in chat. So this is Red Flag Central. Well, I'm back to, back to exploring this cave. Seeing what I can find. Let's see here. That's bright. I'm getting more and more lost in here. This is a cave layout that I'm not used to, which is surprising actually. Thought I've thought I've seen everything. But I'm looking for like a giant chamber. Like this should all open up here soon. Oh, this looks different. There we go. Okay. This is different. 
There we go. There's my big chamber. Yeah, look at that's placed by a player. There's somebody in here. At least there was. That's actually smart. They left that here so they can know which cave to go out of. Good, good for them. Okay. Yeah, there's like little pathways to go. Um, let's go check this right one. Actually, I like the gun out. Let's take the coda out. Yeah. Cave exploring with a pistol, Indiana Jones style. Okay, yeah, if there's any loot down here, whoever that player that's leaving these, that was loud. Whoever the player is leaving that stuff around might have snagged it all. Unless they missed something, of course, but that person came prepared. I did not. Yeah, nothing in here? Damn. Okay. I don't want to mess up that guy's handiwork. I want, I want to take one of those with me, those glow sticks with me, but I don't want to mess up his handiwork. Uh, let's go in here. Okay, we got more crates, a couple crates. Um, no loot boxes though. I am genuinely, oh, here we go. Okay, 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 hold on. It's a weapon crate, I've never seen a weapon crate down here. Uh, wow, okay, it's got weapons. I don't know why I was expecting. Um, you know what, I guess I could just, I should just take, take anything for my troubles at this point. Some, some grenades, got more, okay. More ammo for my rifle back on my ship. Eight times scope for the rifle would be cool, and then I'll take ammo for the gun I just picked up, okay. Never seen weapons crates in here, so that's new. Mostly, I'm, here we go, there's, okay, he's definitely opened these. It's medical. Okay. Well, he didn't... From what I could tell, he didn't open that, so... Whoever was came here before me probably didn't get everything, which is fine by me. Oh, jeez, got one more chamber to check, and of course it's, it's a tight one. Gotta go on our, my belly. Yikes. Um, crap, I think I gotta go this way. I see the parkour and I'm like, yep, that is my calling. Parkour it is. Oh, come on. Oh, geez, this is gonna be rough. Oof. Okay, oof. Usually you could do that, if I do that in zero gravity, I can just yeet across all those, but gravity's normal here, so I actually have to be careful with these jumps. Um, I don't know. I don't know this layout. I was hoping I could, you know, murder hobo some people and get some mining tools off of them, but there's nobody in this cave, so that's kind of stinky. There's like a whole thing up there. There's no way to get there. Oh wait, hold on a minute. I may have spoken too soon. Yeah, there's parkour. Okay, there's parkour. Oop. Watch me get unlucky and find like, I think it's Janolite. Oh no, it's just a big old, wait, what is that? You guys will tell me if that's Janelite or not, is it? I mean, it's covered in, I think it's, no, that's, this is, there's too much other colors in there. I think, I think Janelite's all yellow or like orangey. But if you don't know what it is, it's like, it is the rarest but most profitable uh, rock you can mine, but it's stupid rare. Let me see, hold on a second, now I'm curious. Um, Let's go to, ba -ba -ba. Where is this? Trade tools. Janelite, let's see. Yeah, whoof! I mean, it would take quite a bit of mining to get one 
car like one SEU of Janalite, but one SEU of Janalite is 17 million credits. That's ridiculous. So even like I think even like a rock or two would probably get you maybe a couple hundred thousand. So definitely look out for rocks that are orangey. Um not oh, screw it. I'm taking this with me too. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's mine now. I'm gonna <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna treat that as a succulent. I'm just gonna put it on my uh, on my desk. Put it next to my war medal. Um, I'm not going down there. Yeah, I'm not going down there. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to skedaddle out of here. Um, I'm disappointed in this. I at least expected people I could loot, but uh, not a single soul's down here. So, nobody for me to take their possessions. It sucks. But I will go check out. Hopefully the sun uh, came up a little bit. So, I'm probably going to get out of this cave and go check. Oh, I just lost more health back there. Stubbed my toe. Uh, I'm going to go check it and see if I can get... Is this the way? No, it's the way. What in tarnation? Okay. Is this the way? We're just gonna keep guessing. I'm guessing I'm, I'm following the light. Yeah, this looks. Wait. No, I just did a big circle. Damn it. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Anyways, no, I'm hoping the sun will be up at the, uh, the, the uh, other points of interest. Maybe I can find some ships there I can loot um, in case other players just, you know, went there and stayed there kind of deal. Maybe I can shoot open the back of their hulls and crack them open, see what's inside. So, this is more parkour. I don't want to go down. Is I mean, this looks more right than. Okay. I'm getting out of here. Also, as I, uh, Lewis and Clark my way out of this cave, uh, a comment on this video would be great. Let me know, oh, another ghoul stick. Uh, let me know if you like this chiller format and I'll, I'll keep it going. I know maybe in the future we can do some, some AMAs. I can ask, I can answer people's questions that you guys might have about Star Citizen, content creation, anything like that. But yeah, this is kind of how I, I like to spend my evenings just, or to try to, try to, try to, what ends up happening is I, I start with like the intention of doing nothing and then I end up recording a video and that turns into a whole cinematic thing. I've never just like hopped into a ship and just did stuff. It's been a long time since I've had I've had done this. So this video is like a good good change of pace for me. This is very chill. Um, Cause I do miss like the organic, just like, oh, we, I don't know what's gonna happen in the verse today. It's like, I could get run up on, I could, you know, I do some accidental pirating. Maybe I'll run into a medical beacon, you know, what do you call it? Abuser, whatever the hell. But I guess right now, just I think it's turned into something pretty chill. Like, we still gotta go to those new outposts, which could get pretty spicy. Especially, like, I don't see a comma ray up right now, so that's not good. People could be either hunting for security armor, or maybe they're just being jerks at a outpost. Definitely found my way out of here. Let's see. Do you want to take bets? See if the sun's going to be up when we get there? I can't tell if the sun was setting or the sun was rising. Well, 
it's looking dark. Hold on. No, still very dark. <laughs> this thing is as bright as the sun, though. Damn. out of here. Look at that beauty. Hello, old girl. And we got, is that probably Aberdeen? Is that Aberdeen in the background? Yeah, you found me. You found me. Okie dokie. Let's see here. I want to say the sun's rising. Oh, nice. Big old chunk of smog. Love to see that. Looks like the sun's rising, so maybe now's a good time to go check out. Oh, sorry. My dog wants to get on my lap. I would go check out that uh, Titan, but it's pitch black, and that's not fun. I don't like I don't like videos that are too dark. You guys don't like watching them. I don't like filming them, so we're not gonna do that. So we'll get back in the cockpit. I really hope that present wasn't somebody's mission, and they're <laughs> forever chasing me. That would be really funny if there's like a person that's just chasing me down, trying to get their present off my ship. see somebody in chat's talking about how oh, they had issues let's see Could just be glorified package people. Let's see. Pickersfield. I don't go to Pickersfield. Okay, let's get back up in orbit. Um, let's. Oh, I got issues. I got still got health problems. I got to put my succulent away. I got a whole bunch of stuff I got to do. Let me get. Let me get up into orbit and we'll solve some issues. There's that Titan on my radar. It's slowly going away. That's so cool. By Loraville. We'll stop by it. I got I got, I wanna look at one more thing at Loraville before we before we call it. But I want it to be sunny there. Cause I'm picky like that. Right, let's see. Where should we go? Let's see what's close. Oh god, am I there we go. I'm blacking out. Oh. Come on. You're fine. I want to go this way. Rappel. Let's go to Rappel. Um, mostly because that looks like where the sun's at. So I don't know what that is. Uh, we're going to learn something new. Let's go check out where, what's up with Rappel. Beautiful. Outstanding. Okay. Okay, hold on a minute. Drake Caterpillar. I'm curious. Repel's not going anywhere, but that Drake Caterpillar might. It's a Caterpillar and... There's something else over there. What is it? No, I think it's just the... There's a weird UI thing... I... Is this nor let me know if this is normal. I feel like there's doubles of things. Oh, is he just floating there? He is. Interesting. And I wonder what secrets you hold. Let's scan his cargo hold. If he's uh I mean the calm is down. <laughs> if he's got some goodies in on board, let's uh let's make them our goodies. 
Let's see here. Just a random guy floating in space, no big deal. Owner game rules, so nobody's here. Nobody's on board. The pilot must have crashed. Well, there's nothing on board, which is kind of silly. Could we steal that? No, that's a dumb idea. I was like, maybe we could uh, jump on board or something and steal it, but we could do that. But um, then I'd lose my ship. It's kind of a one-way trip. Interesting, okay. We'll, we'll leave him be. Looks like looks like we got some company over at R Repel. I, don't, I have no idea what this place even looks like. It's Redeemer. Oh God. Red hold Redeemer. Well, I can't fight that, so let's not fight that. What could be here? Friendly, friendly C1 inbound, please don't shoot me. Oh God. Oh, loading in a little laggy. Another float, okay, the Redeemer's definitely not being piloted, it's just floating. Best in show paint though, oh, that's pretty cool. Yikes, the lag is, oof. I thought they fixed this too. I guess not. I gotta land. It's like a lag bubble. Oof. That's brutal. It better be a lag bubble. This better go away. Yikes. Um, no, this is not a slideshow you're watching. This is... This is gameplay. What's great about this though is that it'll this will almost be like a um like a time capsule, right? So this is like the single digit frames. Uh not great, but stepping stone. Be funny to look back in it. Hopefully in the next few months or I'm the I'm, I'm leaving by the way. I'm not staying here. Hopefully in the next few months we'll look back and like, oh man, remember those single digit frame rates at those outposts? Now we got 120 frames. Beautiful. What a funny problem that we had. Yeah, definitely an outpost problem, because now I am perfectly fine. That's frustrating. Okay, well, repels will bust. I'm not happy about that, but we'll figure something out. We'll do something fun. I know they fixed the Microtech outpost. Who the hell's this now? But I wanna, I wanna go into somebody's ship and see what's on it. I mean, the, and the Comrade is down, so I can, we can have some fun if we can find the fun. Um, let's see, okay. Let's turn our butts around and start scanning for another jump point. Um, let's, ooh. Nope. Pinewood, no thank you. That repel, no. Usually all the new locations are kind of in a bubble, aren't they? Okay, Maker's Point, Zephyr. Let's go, Z oh, wait, what else we got? Just bring out Weeping Cove? I don't think I've ever been to Weeping Cove. I might be on the dark side though. Let's hit up Zep. No, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this orbital marker, and that should give me a better idea about where these locations are when it comes to sunshine and stuff. And I know there's online tools I could use, but y'all can't see the online tools, so that's not fun. We can figure out this problem together. Here we go. Okay, sweet. I can get a better idea. Zephyr is definitely in the sun, so that's cool. Um, oh, she's a big old. Yeah, see, I think all those other ones are... Weeping Cove as a sunrise, I want to say. That could be neat. Let's go check out Zephyr, though. Let's go give Zephyr a little visit.
That's like a fake contact. That's frustrating. But let's see. Except there's another named location, so there might be players here. I hope there's players here. I want players to be here. I would like some fun. If not, I'm going back to Tarkov. Oh, this is a cool thing I realized too. You power down your weapon, the little, little, little things go away. Iron bag, got to come in. That's so cool. Zephyr, I should probably slow down. There you go. Okay. I'm liking this biome of Zephyr. I'm big fan. Big fan so far. Is my big ship gonna fit there, though? <laughs> These are the things we have to think about, right? Okay, so it's like another little outpost. That's cool. Is there like a... Oh, there is! That's sick! That is cool. There's like a little shack out here. Let's see if there's anybody home. That's super cool. Hold on a minute. This might be a tight landing. I don't know if I can fit here, actually. Um. Man, this guy definitely picked a loner spot. I don't think anyone can fit here. Huh. Beautiful view, though. Oh, don't tell me, dude, don't tell me this house has single digit frames. Okay, no, they're back. Frames are back. Um. Can I just, like, slam myself down? Oof. Can't get back in. Oh, hold on. I can get in there. Okay. <laughs> That's such a janky way to do this, but I mean that is a I think that is a pretty big problem though with the C1, isn't it? Oh, just how wide it is. I mean, even at the beginning of the video, uh, I couldn't really get out. I scratched the butt of my ship because it puts me in a small little hangar, but my ship's huge. It's so strange. This is this is so cool. Oof! Ow. Um. I love this place. Can I please make this my home? <laughs> Can this just be mine? This is forever the cozy palace. If you see this place, uh, this is the cozy palace. You're welcome to come in and take my goods and sleep if you need to, but just know this is my house. Oh, yep, that is my that is my rock. This is my tool shed. Those are my pickles. Don't touch my pickles. That's cool. You know what? Actually, I'm curious. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna leave. Place. I'm gonna leave a succulent on this table next to the pickles. I want. Oh. Hold on. Well, there's gonna be a succulent somewhere around. around. Here we go. There we go. There is a succulent on the table at the cozy house, the cozy palace on Zephyr. Uh. Find this. Send me a screenshot. I want to see if somebody can find this. I mean, technically that should be possible, right? I mean, I find people's corpses of vehicles, so there's, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to find somebody's... You should be able to find my succulent. I'll go up there in a second. I want to see what's over here. Probably annoying a lot of people. I should probably center myself up. There we go. This is so pretty over here. Big fan. Big fan. Let's go get the view of the top of the Cozy Palace. Let's see. Whoop. I might have other plans. Look at this. I mean, my ship's in the way of the view, but <laughs> just imagine that ship's not there. Um, that could be a lot better. It's not bad. And it's pretty. Uh, what a beautiful little spot. <laughs> the bullet, the, the gun, the, all the magazines on me look so goofy. 
Okay, cool. Let's go check out the main area now. I mean, if this is this cool. I wonder if we'll see people. Well, it's kind of nice though, just about playing the game. I like this is that I get to like learn new locations to go shooting at. Uh, I need to do that more. I need to play the game with the uh, intention of location scouting. Quote unquote location scouting, I guess. <laughs> These guys actually have a ooh, a proper landing zone for me. Oh jeez. Oh okay. That lag is killer. Ooh. Ooh. Why am I flying like this? There we go. Just just land it. Just land. There we go. Landing. Is that gonna be good? Oh, flawless. Love that for me. Oh, there's people here, too. They're on their phones, but so they don't pay me no mind. Got my gun just in case. I got two guns. Should probably put the other gun away. I don't need two guns. This ship instantly feels. Whoa, there's. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. There's just crap in my ship. We're just gonna have to live with it. Souvenir, I guess. Okay, okay. Zephyr's a vibe. Big fan of Zephyr. I'll talk to you guys. They don't care. This guy's looking awfully comfy, though. It's a fun little fit. Let's, ooh. Can I buy this? Oh, nice. I'm gonna do it. Support local business. Oh, cool, okay, so you can buy Grey Cat stuff here. Oh, that is sick. That is so cool. A lot of armor, it's like Grimhex stuff. Can I buy, ooh. Kitchen supplies? Please tell me I can just yank something off this table. Nope, okay. <laughs> like, please tell me I can yank something off that table. That'd be too perfect. I love this little shop area here. It'd be kind of fun to do a, uh, like, a group meetup and, like, put stuff on the table, right? And, like, sell it. I know a lot of people have... Oh, there's guns and stuff here? Oh, pfft. Hell yeah. I know a lot of people that I play with have a lot of gear. A lot of things they want to sell, so having a little sh little swap meet here would be that'd be fun. That'd be super fun. A little campfire vibes. Sorry if I'm giving you whiplash with my camera angles, but it's pretty through here. So I'm not trying not trying to get a shot of my ass. It's just a product of the. This is like very. Very Star Warsy feeling in here. That's a cool feeling. Like even that little structure out there. Hey, yo, I'm getting tingles. I'm getting chills. That doesn't. That doesn't even look real. That looks. I mean, it doesn't look real in like the coolest sense of the of the word, right? Like that doesn't. I can't believe that I'm looking at that. This game's just an alpha. Oh god, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then we, we come into here and... Yeah, this game is just an alpha. <laughs> Can I take this plant with me? Nope. But the bowl? Nope. What about... Oh, come on. Funny shaped fruit? Can't take that home. Anything I can take home? Hmm. I want to be able to take something home with me. I want a souvenir. Oh, 
yes. I can have a little campfire. Little campfires. That looks actually super dope. Let's take a photo. Photo time. Give me a focus. Pull her back. That looks beautiful. Screenshot. That would be funny if, uh, yeah, get up, please. It would be funny if, uh, NPCs would walk over to me and tell me funny sto Skyrim stories. How they used to be freelancers like me until they took. Oh, God, they're all. Okay. You guys are all waking up. The player is here. Time to wake up. No, I know a lot of these places have a bar. Sitting or sittable. That's cool. And I know it seems silly to say, like, oh, there's a box I could sit on. That's cool. Like, but I don't think you understand what that means for, like, what? There's crap here I can get. It's a gold box. Um, like, in the future, like, when you can eventually make bases, like, how cool would it be to, make, to have little campfire places to chill at with your friends? Like, that is so cool. Oh. Cannot, I can't take the chance cube. I feel robbed. But yeah, no, it's this. It's so neat. Like, it's such a silly, like, little thing, but it's like, no, you don't get it. This is the stepping block. This is a, a block to a much bigger thing that we can do very soon. I mean, hopefully when the base building gets involved, we can have some less ghetto, you know, less, uh, run down looking areas. I don't want to have a fallout shelter, but uh, it'd be nice to have options, you know? Can have a little fallout shelter vibes or maybe even just something nice and clean. Oh, here we go. This is this is what I'm all about right here. If there's players in this bar doing back alley deals, I'm gonna lose it. Hello. You guys look like I had a rough day. All right. Oh, yo. Hold on a minute. Can I just store this? Can I just have these cups everywhere in place? I, I gotta be able to put this in my backpack. Yep. That's cool. Can't grab the beers off the shelf, but maybe... Terrible service. Terrible. This is a terrible bar. Can't buy anything here. Okay. Very sad. I can... <laughs> I can clean up people's messes, though. So that's interesting. I'll bring this back. Bring this back to my ship. fan of the proof of concept here. Um, definitely want there to be more things for me to do here. I mean, it's a point of interest. Make it more interesting, I guess. But still, like, this is neat. I think making this area for, for groups will be cool. Um, doing, like, a little shop. Like, an actual black market shop of selling armor to some people. Maybe some guns. Because you can, yeah, you can whip out your guns here. If you take it out, you can sell it. That's cool. Oh, these guys look like they're fixing my ship. That's neat. Do some diagnostics on my engine, I see. I think I passed. I think I passed the inspection. Anything broken? Nothing's broken. That's good. What do you think? 
Are these thrusters going to hold up in pyro or what? Well, solar flares are going to be quite the challenge, but I think you'll figure it out. You look like a smart mechanic. <laughs> One day. This guy's not even doing anything. He's doing a whole lot of nothing. Got any succulents I can take home? Oh, here we go. A pod. Ew. What is this? Um. Yeah, I'll keep that. Like, I want to I wanna have a greenhouse. In my settlement. That will be cool. One day. You know what? A boy can dream. There's a lot of features that I talked about today that there's no way they're implementing. Like, you had conversations with somebody at a random base. That's, I don't think that's a thing. Uh, making a greenhouse. I don't think that's a thing either. They haven't really talked about anything about base building. I hope I can make a greenhouse. I like plants. I got a lot of plants in my own house. There we go. Well, I think I'm going to end this video as I fly out of Hurston. Um... Thank you, if you I don't know how long this video is going to be, it's probably going to be stupid long, but that's kind of the purpose of it. It's like a, almost like an ASMR thing you put on the background, put it on my, put it on your second, third, fourth monitor, whatever, but, um, yeah, I, I just need to play the game some more, I need to enjoy myself. I like going in and with, like, no actual intention of getting anything particularly done, other than the fact of just, like, successfully playing the game and not dying. Um, sometimes that's a win right there, not dying. I mean, we made some money. And we cleared out one... <laughs> we, we did make some money, I guess. We, we cleared out the one caterpillar wreck. Uh, that's fine. That's that's successful to me. And I got to test out my the C1 a little bit. I dig it. I dig it. I definitely want to make it feel more like home. Uh, you know, well, I wish the weapons were better, but I, could, I can easily change that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like it, uh, please leave a like. Let me know what you liked about it. See if you, I, I can make more videos like this pretty easily. Um, they're pretty chill, too. Um, makes me happy. It gives me more excuse to play the game and interact with you guys. Uh, yeah, do all the basic YouTube stuff. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this one. Uh, thank you to my channel members for supporting me in my crazy little Star Citizen endeavors. You guys are amazing. You're literally the lifeblood of this channel. And I, you know, couldn't make these videos without you. So I appreciate your support. Um, you know, if... I'm terrible at outros, but uh, thanks again for watching my video, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Peace.